Hello. Uh, I was in Waterstones the other day. I said to the man behind the desk, can you tell me where I can find a book? It's called A History of Lubrication. He said it's in non-friction. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a rule within comedy which says you should always open with your best joke, so I hope you enjoyed it, you know? Um, a nice thing happened recently. Uh, I fell in love, which was nice. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, the interesting thing about love, though, is how it changes people, you know? It unveils new facets of yourself. I think traditionally love is seen as something quite delicate, and if you encourage it, it blossoms into something life-affirming and wonderful. But when I found somebody I thought I could love, my love was like a rock virus on a toddler's face, you know? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty full-on. <laughs> I, remember, I remember I said to her, I said, I love you. I love you so much. I adore you from your toenails to your split ends. <laughs> Sometimes I draw a picture of you dead just so I can cry over it to remind myself how much I love you. <laughs> but uh, I'm on my own now. Uh, I don't mind being on my own, you know, I've got used to it. The only thing that annoys me is when I see men who have just as little to offer women as I do, but they have girlfriends, you know. <laughs> doesn't seem very fair to me. The kind of men who, you know, usually they're, they're unemployed, they just sit around in their underpants watching telly. And, and these men make me genuinely angry. They do nothing with their time, they have no desire to work, they just lounge around all day. And I have to pay to support them, you know? Uh, I say I have to pay, not me specifically, because I'm on the dole. But <laughs> relationships, relationships have always confused me, because uh, I've never been very good with people. Uh, I'm even worse with women. But, um, <laughs> Uh, recently, I, I was round at my friend's house, and uh, he wanted to help me get a new girlfriend, you know, he thought it'd do me good. And he said, the easiest way to do it now is through the internet, it's what everybody does. He said, well, we'll get you set up now, like, uh, first thing we need to do is tell people about you. What do you like? What do you enjoy? I said, what do I like? I quite like pork pies. <laughs> he, he said, right, well, we'll forget that bit. Um, <laughs> what is it you're looking for in a girl? And the clearer an idea you give me, uh, you know, the easier it is for me to find somebody who's perfect for you, you know. So I said, okay, I'm looking for like a, an 18 year old ingenue with little hands and big brown eyes and a bijou nose that blushes at the tip when she giggles. And it's quite important to me that she's, she's French and she spends her spare time sat by streams making daisy chains with her little sister <laughs> or in the half light of dust running barefoot across hills singing songs to herself with a voice like melting ice cream. Uh, and she has to be a ballerina. <laughs> But uh, there, was, there was nobody like that, you know. <laughs> oh, no, there was one girl, but she didn't like pork pies, so I, I didn't know. Uh, now, in the past, audiences have complained that it's quite hard to get to like me because I seem a bit detached, a bit distant. So recently, I've started incorporating some uh, audience banter into my set. So, uh, hello, what's your name? <laughs> what, what's your name? Holly, that's great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 